make sure you listen to my daddy's podcast right now. Is it Bash on the World? And this is the Card Face Up Podcast, and I am your host, Mr. Ty Hill. Today, we don't have a guest on the day. You know, we're going to call this man family because he's been inside our life for so damn long. You know, the myth, the legend, um... The, 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 the man that came on the scene with his three other brothers as kids singing and dancing their way to fame and they hit after hit after hit with millions and millions and millions of albums sold. Um, we talking chart topping songs. He even starred in a movie on the big screen and they did that shit for Lil Saint. Y'all remember they did that shit for Lil Saint. Um, him and his group caused so much pandemonium in the world. So much pandemonium that they had to name the album Pandemonium. You dig what I'm saying? They had dudes mad too. Y'all remember? Y'all brothers remember? They had dudes mad. You know why? Because when you snuck in your girlfriend room for the first time, they was already in a room on every wall. They already had their pictures on every wall. You couldn't even go to the grocery store without seeing their pictures on every magazine as you trying to check out at the produce lines. You dig what I'm saying? They was everywhere. Every TV station. Um, they that. Oh, listen. Somehow. With the talent and the charisma that they had, they ended up lasting over 20 plus years and they are still relevant today. Today we have on one of those members from that group, my man, Raz B from B2K. Peace and blessings, brother. Man, listen. Are you talking? I'm traumatized because I'm sitting here. I'm like, I'm flat. I'm flat. It's like, I'm sitting there like, yo, that. That was definitely B2K mania, you know, pandemonium, like you said earlier. It was crazy. I, I actually picked the name for the album. And <laughs> one of my uh, executives who actually signed B2K told me, he's like, did you know that we spelled pandemonium wrong on over oh, millions of copies? But it, it says pandemon, but, you know, maybe that was on purpose. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I, I heard stuff like that really exists in the industry, y'all. Uh. Certain, certain little signs that you know every every day I learn something new you know what I mean when I was a kid I used to think I knew a lot more than I know now but I'm, I'm a lot more mature and it's 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 a lot going on in this world more than we can never imagine or expect but I you know the terminology people say stay out the way I think that's the best I think that's the best way to 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 go about uh living on this earth stay out the way I agree brother stay out the way stay positive and stay focused on what you're trying to do Rasby, again, man, I appreciate you because I know you're a busy man. I know you're, like I said, man, y'all lasted in this game over 20 years and you're still moving. You're still motivating. You're still out here participating in what's hot, participating in how to get the fans to be a part of y'all. So I want to start it. I want to start it off. You know, I want to go before B2K. I want to go before Rasby. I I want to go back to when Ricky Roman and his little brother, Lover Boy, was out there <laughs> performing. And talent shows and stuff. Talk to us about Lover Boy, Rasby. <laughs> Lover Boy's still here, you know. I mean, I always, <laughs> I just got a lot of love, man. I got, I got a lot of love to 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 offer, especially the ladies, but just across the board of of being a a, a, a strong um, individual with strong character. Um, you know, me and my brother when we was younger, we used to be in uh, this little group called Brothers Two. That was our, that was our name. Uh, I think it was more driven because of my brother. He was really kind of chasing, you know, uh, his dream and whatnot. And I think it's kind of crazy because I wind up being the one to have, you know, this very, you know, uh, illustrious career. So I always kind of question myself. I'm like, am I living somebody else's dream? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yes. you know, that, that didn't last too long from what I recall, you know, from the different talent shows that I was on and running off stage and, and, um, we 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 pretty was we probably was pretty whack to be to, to be quite frank. <laughs> so is that, is that is that in California? Have y'all already left Cleveland at this time? Because you're not from California, you're from Cleveland, Ohio. No, I was born in Cleveland, Ohio, but I was raised I was raised in Cali. So we was already in Cali. I forgot what age I was, but I, I would definitely say during that time, it definitely sparked something in me because imagine being at a talent show and you're singing the song, you forget the words, you start re-singing the same verse and then you run off stage and then you're bold enough to come back on stage and re-sing the same song, but not, you know, but but do it with the beat versus doing an acapella. I guess that sparked something in me, whether I knew it or not, because being, you know, being on stage, 
it's more than just like performing. It's like when you're in front of the congregation, you're in front of the people, it's almost like modern day church, I would say. Mm. So, you know, I felt that uh, being on the platform, the stage is, you know, essentially where I believe I belong because not everyone can get up there and grab the mic. And I'm not just talking about singing and rapping. I'm, I'm talking about being able to, to know what it is to be a leader and, and be strong and be able to stand on the platform. So it's a little, 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 little deep, but that definitely sparked um, something in me. And when that question being asked, I, I'm just, I'm thinking back to, to the time that I used to just listen to all my favorite artists, like the Michael Jacksons and the Immatures and the, you know, different, you know, the, different groups that inspired the soul for reals different groups that inspired me at that time you know what i mean uh the mistas and all these different awesome groups and stuff like that yeah 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 that's what this show is based upon you feel me this segment of i declare war we base this upon those feelings that those groups that you just named you know we've had a lot of them on here um let's talk how a boy how a young boy coming from 10th and crenshaw how how do you come from there and end up in b2k it's crazy. I was just in LA the other day. I, I, I took this chick I'm dating right now. Well, we uh, had a very interesting relationship. No, but we were in LA, and um, and I took her down Tenth Avenue. It was it was crazy to actually roll down the street in Crenshaw and High Park, and um, and we went to Bell's Taco, Bill's Tacos. I think that was on Slauson or Manchester, but. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in the hood. It was just crazy. I called my mom. I was like, Mama, guess where I'm at? She's like, I was like, I'm on 10th Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy because you're like, you know, I remember everything when I was like a little kid. So when you're like this, not that I'm much taller, you know what I mean? But it was cool to go back to the neighborhood. And I just told my mom, I said, thank God we don't live over here no more. You know what I'm saying? But the hood is the hood. I mean, it's always humbling. It's always ground. It's always... um is it is it, 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 humbling um to to see where you came from right also to see where you're at and um i just thank my mom for 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 the for the time and the years that she spent shielding uh, a love and armor protection um <clears throat> and how she dealt with us in regards to not really like living in the hood but not being of the hood per se you know what I mean? Like our mannerisms. Like, I mean, she, I remember she bought me an etiquette book, like how to place my silverware and how to put my hands and, you know, and my, my, you walk in my room, I got my encyclopedias with the, with the gold mm -hmm. paper, you know, my Christmas. I mean, I still got my tree up right now. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> uh, and my Christmas was just, I remember mornings I would wake up and it was just, it was dope because I had everything that I wanted. And for a kid, you know, uh, not getting too deep into the mindset of these pagan holidays, but to inspire one's faith was really amazing. Cause I think about the things that she did for me and it just, it was, it, it was just, I, I grew up in a house of love. And I just think, I think my mom that even though we was on tip Ave, you know what I'm saying? Um, in the hood, I, I didn't know I was in the hood. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I didn't know I was in the hood. So I, um, yeah, that's, that's a good one, man. But from what I remember, man, I was, I've always been the same loving, caring kid. Um, I asked my mom yesterday, I was like, yo, mom, when I went to Hyde Park, why? I said, was I acting out for attention or like, what was going on? Like growing up being a, just being a boy. And I was like, you know, and I think those, those are the, those are the times that you really need your father most because yeah, my mom was a single parent. She did very well raising me and my brother. Um, and I think, of course, she, I'm sure she craved for a relationship and she craved for um, companionship. Right. He didn't have the right companionship, you know what I'm saying? Because that wasn't the person that was actually, you know, during that adolescent year, it, it, you, you, you see, you, you see where without the proper uh, structure, where, where people start to go left. And I, I right. noticed that. When, when she got a dude, he was around, we were out more often. Being out more often leads to petty theft, leads to, you know what I'm saying? Just all this crazy stuff that I'm doing by following my brother as a, as a youngster. So like being in the hood, I just thank God that I never really got uh, affiliated with the gangs. 
you know, I was always around, but I never really got affiliated and, and, and went down that road. And, you know, my, my petty theft experiences, I, I'm just glad that I never went down a life of crime. So I just thank God for the the, the, the small tokens and, and, and seeds my mother planted into me because I look back at myself today and I said, man, you're not, you, you, you're doing pretty good for yourself and you should be happy. You're still alive. You're taking care of yourself. You're doing good for yourself and you're, and you're pushing the human race forward. So that's, mm. that's that LA 10th Avenue for me in a nutshell. You know what I'm saying? Riots and all that's, that. <laughs> that's, that's dope. That's dope. So let's start off in the B2K world. So now, cause what I hear and you tell me if it's true. Now we know your cousin is Chris Stokes. Mm. who started B2K, I mean, started B2K, started Immature, um, and a bunch of other acts, you know. I hear that he created that group for you and around you. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, you know, I um, I would have to say, yeah, um, through the relationship that my cousin and my mom had, um, I could tell they've always wanted to help each other in some kind of way. And um, I think during the time my mom was going through her domestic violence relationship, um, me and my brother in and out of foster homes and group homes. It was it was cool that when I got out of foster home and group group homes, I was back home with my mom. And it was cool that the relationship that I had with 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 my cousin. Um, I'm I'm glad there was a there was a love and a, and a and a want for me there. You know what I mean for that time being in my life because whether we know it or not, people. Um, People are in your life for a time in a season and they're there to serve a purpose. And I, the older I get, the more grateful and gratitude that I have for uh, all my experiences in my life because they built me and turned me into the, and turned me into the human being that I am today. The, the ones that we call bad, the ones we call good, they all they all have a way of working out, shape some kind of character, depending on how you like to look at life. Because if I didn't look life the way I would, I would probably be a mass murderer. Mm-hmm. Right? Thanks. But I choose to stay in operation in, the, in that love of, of, the, of the lover boy. So um, <clears throat> knowing that that relationship that that my mother and my cousin Chris Stokes had, um, it, it created a space for me, right? Um, yet at the same time, what's for me and what was destined for me was, was destined for me. So my light was inevitable to, to travel where it was travel. It was up to people who was going to serve the light and handle the light with care. Mm -hmm. um, that's, it that's... Was big, my bad. It was bigger than a group. You know, it was really a, a family, a, 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 a tribe, a, a movement, right? And I was, and I was and always will be the, the spearhead of that. So essentially, there was multiple components that was built around me. Um, and uh, I'm a young, powerful individual. We all are. You know, it's just it, it, it's a lot. You know, as you ask these questions, I'm really taking my time and digging in deep because I, I always uh, learn, learn more. But, yeah, definitely, I would say B2K for the short answer. B2K was definitely built for me. No, nah, I thank you for the long answers, man, because uh, I'm seeing you think about them first and a lot of times we speak before we actually think and that's when things come out wrong right and then they get misconstrued and then people got uh different little things they could post out there Raz B said this all of that shit you know and that's not what we want to do we want to actually get the mental the place that you know that those places that don't send you down a dark road but send you down a road that teaches you know so I, I I love these type of conversations so with B2K coming up after immature and it being the same household as far as that Chris Stokes household how in how involved in B2K grooming before they actually dropped was the members of immature you know LDB Romeo and uh Batman how, were y'all like were they like one-on-one -on -one, look this is how you do this this is how you handle interviews how how involved were they with B2K yeah, man, you got to give credit where credit is due. If Immature was definitely super involved in, in the development uh, of B2K. Just being around them, whether you know it, it just naturally rubs off of you. Because, you know, when you're around good individuals, you know, um, they they, they, they want to pour. They want to pour. I mean, everyone's arterial modes are different, but, I mean, they I, there was genuine conversations that I had um, with the guys, you know, growing up during the time, we during the years that we spent. And I learned a lot naturally organically 
right? Because there's a way, there's a level to carry yourself when you have this level of power or fame, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, it's a lot to be elite. Got you, got you. Very speaking of amateur, speaking of amateur, all through the internet, it's stated that Storm is your sister. That isn't true, though, is it? Storm is my sister from my stepfather's from my stepfather's side. We 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 I haven't talked to her in a while, and I, I hope that she's doing very well for herself. And that storm that used to do with immature the rapping and stuff, right? No, nah, no, nah, not no. Nah. My sister, <clears throat> no, nah, my sister Storm Storm Mariah Ketchens is her name. She was she was born through um through my through my mother's uh marriage. So definitely different yeah. storm. Got you. When I was looking at that, I was like, is that the same storm? All right, all right. So let's just to make sure I ain't tripping. I'm because yeah, you know, I'm gonna tell you, Chris Stokes is doing a lot of shit with uh the connecting of things that wasn't true. Um, we had the Batman and um Omari on his brothers. Then we had the little fizz and um what what was pretty girl name? Um I mean, you know, we all family, we be like <laughs> husband, that's my family. Nah, 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 nah. You know what? Hey, when we was young, that's what it really was. You know what I mean? Rather, so when we say it <clears throat> compared to how the world may perceive it, yo, that's my cousin. You know what I'm saying? Versus saying, yo, Janae, me and Rick, Janae is really close. She's like my cousin. I mean, motherfuckers really ran with that. Like, literally, you got to be careful what you say and how you say it because people actually really li literally run with it. And we I, we definitely did. And me being an actual boy, boy group fan, you know, I knew who Marcus was you no, know, I followed that when his mom passed away and all of that shit. So I, I watched all that. I followed y'all. I, I used to read the covers and everything. So I, I knew what wasn't and what was right. So well, let's, I, let's let's now. I thank you for reaching out. Um, you know, I ain't the Hollywood type. You see, I hit you right back. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I thank you for sowing a seed in my kingdom too. You know what I mean? Um, uh, appreciate you. So and I'm and I'm really enjoying. I'm, I'm enjoying getting to getting to build with you on your platform. So I appreciate it, man. Thank you for this opportunity. I, Brother, I appreciate you for always being so real. You know, that's important. Like you said, you're not the Hollywood type, even though, as we discussed, you've been in the Hollywood game for over 20 years. You've been in the Hollywood game more years than you've been alive. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you got more yeah. years in than you have out. So I thank you for just being real and grounded, man. That means a lot to us. Yeah, it's some real that shit. Means, that means a lot to us. Look, I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about my people over at MyExpressly.com. MyExpressly.com is a place for those of us who are focused on our fitness, our health, beauty naturally can come and find products needed to obtain those goals. MyExpressly.com also offers a marketplace to the entrepreneurs who want to put their vegan and natural health and beauty care products on a larger scale. MyExpressly.com is the place to be, whether you're selling health or you're trying to buy health. MyExpressly.com is where you want to go for both things, man. Tell them the Cards Face Up podcast sent you. Let's get healthy together. Peace. So we we, we got to get into the, the 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 times that, you know, because this is about Raz B. This is about your life. All of the things that Raz B has done, top to bottom. So let's, let's talk about you accused your cousin of molestation, right? And then you recant it, though. Where are we at with that? Is that still recanted? That's that it's not real. Was Raz just going through something at that time? Or did you not? Because you also went to China after that. Or did you just not feel supported enough to continue? That's a good, that's a really, that's a really good question. You know, I I I, I feel like I've talked about that shit so much and 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 to the point where it's like, I don't even like talking about it anymore, right? Because no one likes to have the real conversation. A lot of people has been molested in their family and their friends. Pedophilia is one of the biggest things that goes on in the world, from porn all the way down. So it's like, until people are ready to have that super intelligent conversation like Kanye likes to have with people, then it's like, it is what it is. Like, I, I've been lit. Before they, before the niggas was lit, I've been lit. So it's like, the people, you know, for me, like, My story is my story, and what I said is what I said, and I stand by that, and I will always stand by that. Simple. I, I like that. So, mature way to to move. Like I'm, I really, I took a 
big ass pill of uh, integrity and a, and a big ass glass of water of uh, maturity. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to be able to tell your truth when everybody want to judge it, right? But that's part of the world. The world judges, right? And I think that your story needs to be heard. I remember at one time you were talking about the surviving Chris Stokes. And I, and, I, and I wanted that documentary. You know, I wanted those type of things. Not to throw dirt on his name, not to throw dirt on Raz's name, but to get honesty out there. Because just, as you had just stated, child molestation is a big thing. It is a big thing. I remember during that time, it was no Me Too movement. It was no Me Too movement. Now you have the Me Too movement and everybody's, everybody's there to try to support everybody, right? But I watched yep. Raz actually go through that by himself, other than your brother, other than, um, what's, what's the brother name that passed away recently? Tyver? Um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Other than y'all, like, did you feel alone? You, you, you come from a group, you know, and again, we got the family from that group. You know, whether it was TUG, whether it was B2K, whether it was I- Immature, IMX, whatever they want to be called, we felt like it was a family there. Did you not feel supported with the family? Chris Stokes aside, when you came out, I know you came out blasting names as well, but did you not feel supported? Like, behind the scenes, was they still supporting? Yeah, I mean, as much as I want to go down this hole, which I really don't, this is like, I have the documentary. I have the money for it, $1.2 million sitting to the side when I wake up and I and the book, all, all that stuff is right there when I want to do this. I mean, I, I went as far as was, I was working with Tamara Simmons who did Surviving R. Kelly. Like, I, I could have really took this thing somewhere else, right? Um, mm. Anybody that hasn't supported me, I mean, they, they it's inevitable for them to have to support me. It's, it, it is what it is. Perfect example, the Millennium Tour, 2019. Yeah, when, when you quit? No, when I put it together. Mm. And I could have tore the tour down then, but why would you want to tear something down that you built? So, you know, people want you to leave because they feel that you're not handling yourself properly. Well, maybe I'll handle myself properly if I was handled properly and I wouldn't have a pushback. I'm not a punk. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on 10th Avenue, cuz. So it's like, I just keep it cool. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm very wise. So it's just like, for me, I, I would have to agree with you. My, my story needs to be told and we'll, vetoed at the right time but i feel like I've, I've shared it so much but i think um the fact that i'm um young and healthy and i'm able to tell a story <clears throat> which is what I'm, I'm working on something a little bit more similar it seems like it's t- it seemed like it's the b2k movie slash me it's pretty interesting when i'm working on it and i have some i have some really really powerful people with the right resources to bring it to fruition. I'm just kind of take, I'm just taking my time with it. Like, for example, if I told you I've, I've been working with Travis Payne, right? Travis Payne produced, this is it. We've been working with Michael for 20 years. So like when I do stuff, I take my time with that shit. Cause it's going to smack niggas in the mouth. Like I did with B2K, the millennium tour, you guys serve the Dosh network, me living in China for seven years. I'm very calculated with, with my moves. Um, I'm just learning how to not get as frustrated and use <clears throat> And continue to use the, the tools that I've learned uh, to, to, to control the beast. You know what I'm saying? Because we all got one inside of us, right? So it's like, I, uh, I'm i the type of nigga, I throw a motherfucker off the balcony. I think we're all capable of that, but are you really going to do it? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we when people talk about mental, mental health, like, you know what I mean? It's fucking, it's over 10,000 thoughts that run through your mind in seconds. <laughs> like try to grab one of them motherfuckers you know what I'm saying so it's like you know when you read theories about keeping your penile gland like when if you really study your body and you understand how the moon and the back of your head the sun and all of this if you learn about self it's shocking. You know, if you if you take the time to learn about and all the knowledge is there for everybody out there just continue to learn about self it will, it will help you really understand life a lot better um so I say all this to say that, of course, I felt there was a time that people didn't support me. I've read articles about people not supporting me, but it just goes to show you like those doctrines that you hear growing up, the world hated me first. Like, you know what I mean? It's just a little a level of energy. I just take it as a compliment. If you really mm-hmm. think about it, it's all just a compliment. Like for anybody to want to fuck with you, it's a compliment. You just got to figure out why they fucking with you. No, it's deep. First and foremost, I need to make sure you know. I need to make sure you know. 
This wasn't just to get you to go down a dark hole. Nigga, I'm a fan. First and foremost, let's let's make it clear. So when I talk to you, it's literally coming. No, I know you don't think that, but I just want to make sure I I I put it out there. When I talk to you, it's all love. Like I'm really here, man. I feel it. It's all love. Nah, you're definitely not a fan. You're you're my brother in Christ. You know what I'm saying? And we we legends. We here on this this earth at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And we we here to level up. We here to level each other up, right? So um, I can definitely tell that you. You know your shit, you know, and um, it's just a confirmation to me when I have conversations like this it, it, of, of of who I am and what I've put out there, right? Because you have to know how to be jealous of yourself. In my mind, I don't say this every, every day, but I say it. It's a nice way to say it. Certain things wouldn't be if 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 I didn't do my part. That's just the best way, and I feel like we are. That's the humble. That's the most humblest way I can say that. I, I I agree, right? And shout out, shout out to Nori, right? Who? Who? You, you saying something? I, no, I was gonna say the deep. You know, the you know the, the true leaders have to go off on the deep end. You have to go ahead and prepare a place, right? So there, there's a difference between there's, there's levels to this, and mm-hmm. that's a walk. And so, what I was gonna say. Oh. I was gonna say shout out to Nori, right? I watched the Drink Champs interview. Um, I still first clips. I still haven't watched it. I don't think I want to watch it because I don't know if I was nervous. I don't know. I don't think we should have did that. I don't. I, I was drinking on TV. Like, come on, bro. That's that's crazy shit. I don't know. If I want to see that. But tell, go ahead and tell me. I'm gonna tell you, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I got from Raz B. I love one part of that show when they made it clear how intricate you were to b2k um they made it intricate i mean they showed that you were a part you know because what people might don't realize you know you see O as the lead singer you see fizz as the rapper you feel me and you and Boog might not get as much uh uh look as the rest of them right as the other two at that time but literally on there they did have that part that they said you know, Raz put this together. Raz did that. Raz was behind this. To know that you are the businessman, because nothing can move without the mind, right? But that's the hand, the legs, all of that stuff. Everything moves through that. So I, I, I love that part of it. Now, I do want to ask you, right? Because we, we had some funny moments after the whole Mario versus Omarion. <laughs> we we had some funny fucking moments, right? I I was loving it until shit got serious. I was like, oh, now nah, niggas want some serious shit, right? <laughs> it was it was funny shit. Like, it was like me and my niggas laughing and telling, fuck you, this, that, and another. When it got serious, I was like, all right, now nah, this shit is too much, right? What, what, um, what, when you got the word that Mario was going against, and shout out Mario, that's Baltimore, Ohio City. Um, Mario was going against Omarion. Um, what was your first thought? I mean, bro, every time you tell me that shit, I'm like, huh, well, that, that shit doesn't even sound right. <laughs> like, that shit sounds foreign to me, bro. Like, I don't know, man. That's a good fucking question. Yo, niggas need the right moment. Like, hold on, hold on, recording moment. <laughs> I can at this time. That heavy shit be wild. I got, a, I got a journal. I need to give me a journal. I need a journal. What, who did you think was going to win? Bro, what are you talking about, bro? This is a trap, bro. All right, bro, listen. I'm going to just say this, because I'm tired of making jabs, and, and it's funny, because, like, really, I got a lot of love for Amari, but I think it's funny sometimes, because he chooses not to communicate, and I, I, I like that. That's savage mode for, you know, there was a time where we did communicate, but he chooses, like, you know who you, who you want in and out your life? I think that's pretty cool, but sometimes I think if you if you if you don't understand certain things, then some sometimes you miss out on a lot of things. And it's fine to be like when I was in China by myself, you know what I'm saying? For seven years. The thoughts that I had, the energy that I was channeling, uh what's your question again? Who, nah, you know what <laughs> Who did you think was going to win that versus when you yeah. first heard the matchup? 
No, no, I, I say I say all that to say, yeah, thank you. I say all that to say, who did I think, or what did I think when I heard about the matchup? I really wish Amari had, had would have kept and his team had kept the original order of what it's what it should have been. Right? So as a creator, right? I make a post on my Instagram and I say, make a picture of um, shout out to my boy June who actually put, put together a graphic where it was pretty Ricky and B2K doing verses. That was me. I made a flyer, shit went viral, Shave Room picked it up, Pleasure B stamped it, Timberland stamped it. I think he removed his message too. And then the business, the buzz was there, right? And then the conversations are there. Like, it's cool to love's on the phone. And, you know, Amari's managing team is like, yeah, O wants to speak to Timberland and all this weird shit. Like, you and your team go holler at Timberland on your own time. This is a B2K play that, once again, Raz created for the culture. And you want to steal it. That's how I think. When, talk, when people talk about culture vultures, and I'm not calling them Mario culture vultures, but I'm just looking at like, I'm looking at what if you, what, show me something that you've created. My done. So when I'm asked that fucking question, I, it, it vexes my spirit because I'm like, nigga, once again, you niggas and stole the, the fucking, you, 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 I, I gave it to you niggas on a silver platter for you to roll it out perfectly, but you wanted to do it the fucked up way. So when I hear that, I'm like, okay. So he takes it, he pops his collar and okay, first you come out on Bow Wow set, you go from a-list nigga to coming out on Bow Wow set. Bow Wow's a, a goat. But to me, it's like, mm, okay, that friend, okay. You go from about to have your own versus with B2K, and you could have decorated your solo platform right up in there and made it so beautiful where it could have been, maybe you and Pleasure P could have went solo, had the hit right there in the middle. Like, it could have been so dope. But that didn't happen. And then you got the four on four. They had Marcus Houston, they had all these different people. Amari changed the production of the show. And not, hey, it was an over reason. He said he didn't want to do the show because of Amari, because of Marcus Houston. Hey, man, in this business, there's a lot of things we have to stand up for, and I get it, and I fucked with that. But there's so many fucked up people that we deal with that's fucked up, but we don't know that fucked up, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, now you got everybody in the production looking at you like you difficult, because you're going to put our whole business in jeopardy. I mean, it's big. Do you know how much shit Timberland and Whitwood and Scandals and, and Swiss Beat? Like, these niggas is like, these god bodies, my nigga. You know how much shit these motherfuckers deal with? And still got a smile. And, like, there's a way to do sh little shit. So, I don't know. Now you so now you change the whole production from 4 on 4, which is supposed to be a battle of 4 on 4, which I thought would have been strong, of all the different artists. But now you break it up and you say you just want to go head to head with Mario. He brought that shit on himself, cuz. Not only exposed the group, Expose your attitude, your bitterness. Pleasure P was drunk as fuck and still think this group members. You let them use B2K. You, 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 you listen, you're talking to a mastermind right here. I'm sitting back there watching all of this. So hell yeah, it's funny, nigga. Hell yeah, I got a group chat with the boys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it's funny. That's why I posted the clip. Hell yeah, it's funny. So when you ask me that question, I just think of the whole, I'm just like, another wasted moment. And then you, somebody, excuse me, brother. Then you see somebody, he gets dragged for his vocals and you make excuses about your vocals. Well, nigga, you never was, we're not a vocal group. 
Who's in your ear over there, cuz? Like, once again, we're like, like, who's in your ear again, cuz? Who's in your ear? And the reason why I say this is because everywhere I go, I'm at the weed store. T Fly, great singer. Hey, nigga, you killed, you killed the national anthem, cuz. I didn't hear it about Amari and his vocals. So don't make excuses. I think Amari started from a rapper and he became a singer. And do can he sing? Yeah. Does everybody like his tone and texture? Maybe not. You got studio singers, you got people. It is what it is. Like, I may not be the dopest vocalist, but I know how to stay in my key and stay in my register. Right? So, I mean, when I hear that, I just I think of all of that. That, that's what I think of all of that. And then I say, why you keep getting dragged? Because you 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 do interviews and you're saying, well, you know, there's really, you know, if you're gonna come at somebody, don't dance around it. You know, there's really only a few artists that really dance like me. So okay, we'll do a dance off. Right? Now you set yourself up for niggas to drag you and say, yo, they gonna do, you gonna do this to Chris Brown, and now now they're dragging you. But guess what? This ain't this don't make Mario a bad guy. It still all works in his favor, but now everybody's clowning you once again. You get dropped from Sony. You get dropped from all these different labels. You're 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 fucking everything up. The, the lead singer can't go solo, have a little bit of success, and not hit a mark, bro. You had Beyonce. You had Justin Timberlake. This this is where you come from, nigga. We've, I've won awards over both those two groups I just said. I've won awards over these groups. So for me, I was like, damn, man, niggas is, I dropped the ball, O dropped the ball. Vision, like, damn. I was like, this is like, right now, I was like, this is, the, this is the perfect for the ultimate comeback. And that's why we made the we made the tour that I've worked on for 16 years come into fruition, where everybody want to, you got, your, your name is Raz B2K and, yeah, I see everybody run from, from the brand, but I, I'm going to run towards the brand because of what it really represents to me. It's a ministry. It's a church. When people tell me to denounce my, my work, I just look at them and I don't say nothing. I just look at them like, hmm, what did you build? This is what I think. Right? So, But I also have to put it in perspective of where I want to put what am I building here? This, 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 this. Like, you got to if I just say I, I want to get a BTK tattoo on my fucking head, that's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> just me. I love it. So I, that's what I think of when I hear all of that. Like, for me, I, I feel like I, I look at all of that. Like, that's it's, it's, it's all that. Like, once again, like, when BTK broke up, once again, in sync, they left. No strings attached. Had one of the biggest albums. Great run. Celebrity. Arena tour. Stadium tour. Good job, guys. B2K. Oh, ooh, hold on. This nigga stays with my cousin and runs off of work. Like, this is like weenie shit to me. <laughs> like, like, nigga, you're, you're a clown. That's like, I start this whole new company called the Dosh Network with my brother Ray J. And we all, and, and everybody is around, you know, there's a protocol to move. If you know how to come and move in the right protocol and move right, you're going gonna to move where you need to move. So I just sit back and I just I just have to shake my head. I just like it, like I just it's I I got twenty five million dollars on the table right now. Them niggas want to go on tour. I'm in Vegas right now. They want to do residency. I can do that right now. One one phone call done. So I'm assuming everybody come to me when the time is right because I'm not. It's too much. Thank you for this therapy session today. I needed this. Do you think though? <laughs> I appreciate you, brother. Do you think though? Sometimes, I'm, and I'm trying to word it right, right? So uh, when Omarion, nope, let, oh, let that shit go. When Omarion went through the whole versus situation, like you said, they dragged him. But this nigga was literally mad at y'all the most, as if y'all didn't show up. And he asked y'all. I thought that was fucking funny, right? Because we got to keep it 100. Now I'm an Omarion fan again, as I say, B2K. I fuck with y'all, and, and I was one of those guys that got all the chicks because I was okay with understanding that y'all was on my bitch wall right like I was, <laughs> I was i was okay with it right <laughs> so <laughs> um we 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 when you watch 
Omarion get mad at y'all, but not the world? I mean, who who can he go against? I mean, we got the move that you just now did with the dance move. Who you gonna go against? Chris Brown is too fucking good at dancing. You can't go against him. You know, I I, I don't think nobody could really go against him in dancing. Singing wise, y'all aren't a vocal group that way. Y'all are performers. Y'all are entertainers. The the pretty Ricky situation was a wonderful fucking match. It's two entertaining groups. When you get y'all both up on stage, that shit would have been crazy. And it would have made so much sense. It would have made so much future things that could have happened. You know, and ah, that's 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 do you think sometimes though you're blamed for the 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 uh the the Raz B um do you think Raz B is blamed for Fizz Blink. dealing with April and all of that shit? Do you feel like you're in the middle of that shit and you be like, nigga, I don't got shit to do with it? That it, 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 it gotta it's some, it gotta be some deeper shit. Like it has to be like I mean it, it is what it is. I, I mean I ain't my nigga listen, I'm I'm still I'm still booking shows, I'm still doing shit. I mean I am B2K, so I just look at it and I'm just like, y'all niggas ain't figure it out. <laughs> like, are you that are you that selfish? Like I just be I be looking at it. Cause look, I, <laughs> I, I, well, I, I can see the whole landscape of this uh, uh, this thing, man. But, um, yeah, man. Sad situation. If, do you do you see a reunion? Because I do want to see a reunion. Do you see it? I know you said it's at the push of your fingers. Because I always see you show Omarion love. I see Fizz and I see Bug fucking with each other real heavy. But I always see you as the middle man. That's why I asked you, was you... Do you feel like you're in the middle sometimes? But I always see, even when you left the tour, you was like, yo, if O want me to come back, I'll come back. Like, even, like I always watch you show him and give him his flowers and his love and his credit. On because I really, shit. I really love him. I mean, I really like me and O was really close. Uh, and we have our, we were really, even if we don't talk, we were like really close. Like, I, I love that dude. And uh, I think, truth be told, my feelings are probably hurt because maybe people don't love me the way I love them. Um, yeah, they're still heartbroken, you know? Um, probably always will be, for that matter. Yeah, so I just I have to remember that, you know, I always just, just keep it positive because when it's all said and done, I was a good dude. Um, you know, all jokes, all jokes aside, I mean, I just, it was just over years, it was just probably like a lot of frustrating times. And I just kind of feel like it's like, you know, they're running the Instagram over there or the YouTube. And it's just like, I don't want to like get demonic and, and, and deal with that energy because it's, it's not nice. And I just feel like um, when it comes to B2K, if anybody for the boys give me my flowers, uh, my trophies, I like to say trophies. We can pass those down. Not dead flowers. No disrespect. But for the boys to give me my trophies, it's like, I appreciate that, you know, because I do, I am the spirit of the group. I do want to see everybody win, you know what I mean, in one way or another. It's just sad that something that we built that was so dope got so tainted. So it's just one of those things I'll, I'll forever just be like, damn, then just shake my head. I guess I'll write a book about it or something. I don't know, because that shit is like... That shit crazy, just the thought of it, but whatever. But no, man, at least you have, I feel like when you get opportunities to, to really do your thing, you should you should do your thing. You should you should do your thing. And even if B2K would have came out, that wasn't that wasn't gonna help. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't what it was supposed to be. That's why it didn't happen. Right. If it if it was supposed to be, it would have been a major party and, and it, it would have been B2K and Pretty Ricky. That would we would still be on tour right now. So do I, let me ask you a question. do I still see a reunion? For some reason I do, because I haven't completely put the light out, but I'll tell you this, none of them boys want to do B2K. None of them. And this, this is current conversations today. It's just, there's, there needs to be a comment. The four of us need to just sit the fuck down. It don't make no sense. That's how I probably, 
that's probably how I fucking leave the movie, bro. Listen, bro, if you knew the stories, like, yo, these fucking groups, bro, it's a fucking movie, bro. <laughs> the stories. It's just so sad. But it's Part- one thing when everybody got some type of success. Right now, all right, we could say, again, we could talk about what the group was, right? And Raz, in my opinion, never got the credit that he was deserved. But Raz is moving right now without uh, fucking anybody's baby mother. Raz is moving right now without uh, crazy ass headlines. No disrespect to Bug, no respect, I mean, disrespect to Fizz, no re- disrespect to O. Because everybody in their own right is great, man. We remember back in the day when you niggas released one CD and had. I remember chicks being at the store. No, I want the one with Fizz. No, I want the one with Raz. No, I want the one with O. Y'all niggas released a CD with four different fucking versions of who was on the CD. Do you remember that? Those are supposed to be solo albums. And one group album. Then it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be uh, the B2K and Bow Wow album. But we, y'all saw what y'all got. Y'all got cheated so many times. Y'all got robbed. I'd be like, damn, y'all niggas didn't get you by Sir too. Y'all niggas is like, I'm like, so I sit back out on the show, I just be like, man. So the wave I'm on now, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm on one. I'm, 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 you know, you know, life is short, they say, right? So it's like I'm just I'm 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 making up for lost time. Yo, yo. Before we uh before we jump into the wave that you on, because I gotta talk about that wave because that's, that's shit I need to say about that. I need you to tell me the truth. Cars face up need that exclusive on this shit. With Steve Russell from Troop really singing them fucking songs. Raz, tell us, cause Boog Boog dropped the bomb on the world. Who the fuck is yeah. singing them songs, right? Book texted me that day. He was like, nigga, you was nowhere to be found. So I left your name out of it. But nigga, I'll be I'll be the one firing them niggas up low key. I'll be in the group chat, like, I'll be probably I'll be getting them niggas lit, right? I'll be, they, I'll be, I'll be getting them niggas lit. Oh my God. I'm about to get off the call and text some niggas day. Listen, nigga, I'm on my beach. Hey, I'm gonna text these niggas. <laughs> nigga crazy. <laughs> hey, let this shit die, nigga. Ah! Um, you know, when I when I look back, um, you know, from the old business model of how groups were put together, we were just following into that 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 role, right? There's a lot of songs that we went on, some parts that it had lead parts uh, that you know we would have to just do, and maybe there were some background parts that we would leave, and maybe we would add some unison parts on the top, or maybe we add a few different octaves to, to blend it in because it was everything was so crushed in time, right? And we're dealing with some of the world's greatest writers and, and, and professionals in the business. So they just they don't get you in and get you out. Now, during the time that the group was still being developed vocally, now that I listen back, me knowing people's voices, I'm like, did this motherfucker slide, slide a vocal in there real quick? It, it's almost like a it's almost like a punch. So definitely. A lot of all of those vocals, a lot of those, like when it comes to the lead, when it comes to Lee's vocals, 90, 99.9% was a Marion. But I, I listened back and I was like, damn, that motherfucker really was on the lead. I think it's like one song called Understanding and maybe like a few lines on Gots to Be. But for me, I think it's kind of cool. Like, I, I have an album that I was working on recently, and I like some of the ad libs that the person did. So I said, leave them on there. Floetry and Michael Jackson. He loved the 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 butterfly. He he, he left her ad libs on there. So it's like, you know, I think Amari set himself up for that one too, because what he was saying on verses, he was like, "Yo, those are all my vocals." In other words, I went back in the studio. And I re-recorded all of those vocals. So those are my vocals. That's what Amari was saying. Oh, that's the new way to get paid. Well, that's if you re-record, com- right? But that's a whole other conversation. Him, when he said it on Versus, he was saying that to Mario, and Mario took it the other way, and really it started coming at him because they was going at each other like that. So, I mean, once again, we're all tearing the brand down in one way or another. But I think what makes I think what makes the brand real is the rawness. B2K go on tour right now. That's just all that we're talking about. Get tickets. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. We gotta yeah. that's 
That's real. We gotta, we gotta <laughs> a motherfucking question. Hell yeah, they're gonna have to come back because I probably I'm probably not gonna let up. Right now, I just have to put them on, I have to take my mind and shift it somewhere else because I don't know, maybe it's time for the new 2K. Mm. You said maybe, nigga. It sounds like you already got it in the play, nigga. We 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 seeing how how strategic you is over there. You said maybe. That means it's already moving, Raz. We 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 got new 2K. Cause oh, hold on, I want you to show the world real quick. Show the cards face up real quick. Take the hat off. Show the hat. I mean, show underneath the hat right now. Y'all niggas gotta see for those that ain't following this nigga. Him and Ray J. He's working with one of the best businessmen I think in the fucking world. Him and fucking Ray J. Oh, had an shit. argument over they fucking hair. These niggas had me die laughing, right? But no, Ray, I'm, Ray picked the fight with me. <laughs> he needed help about his eyebrow. I said, nigga, this is what you do with the brow. But he was like, no, nah, hold up, nigga. You, nigga, you did the hair and the eyebrow. He didn't been four, five cars. I was with him yesterday. He had a... She be looking lit though. I don't know. I'll be fucking with you. Yo, he be, he be, he be, yeah. But that shit was funny, bro. You know, you know what's even more crazy? I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share a gym with y'all. Me and Ray, me, Ray J and Cisco got a group chat. If y'all niggas would have, if y'all would have caught what we was about to do next week. <laughs> you said Cisco? Yeah, I was trying to get Cisco to come online with us, man. So we all could have had fun, bro. That shit would have been hilarious, bro. Oh, Baltimore. My- yeah, be more. That's my guy, man. I love that man. That's that, that, that's that guy right there. So yeah, we can, can we can we expect because I, I I gotta get we can't let you go, Raz, without talking about the Dodge Network, Ray J, your connection, and now nigga, you bringing Cisco in. The shit is getting. Oh man, he got Dodge on his fucking hand. Shit is getting. What, 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 the shit is getting messy over there. It, 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 it's looking. We talking new two K. We we shit is getting ugly over there. So Raz, what what's up? First of all, you looking for love, nigga? What what the fuck is going on, Raz? You looking for love? Do 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 your <laughs> do your video again, Raz. Get the get the face on. You know it's me, Raz B. You know oh. I'm just looking for somebody. <laughs> shit, dramatic. Shit, dramatic as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what's so crazy? I am looking for love because I am love, you know, and I uh I crave that shit. Uh yeah, it's real messy over here. <laughs> it's like it's, it's getting real messy, but no, real talk. At, at this point in my life, you can you could you could continue to jump around and probably fucking catch something. Slipping up, um, be soul ties, inconsistent with different people and their dramas, and not everyone's gonna uh, morph to your lifestyle and how you move and be accepting of this. So it's really important to find the right person. Um, during this process, like over the past like eight to ten months, I've been like dating, like even before the show. That's just, I've been on this whole like really like nigga. Let me. Let me see what this really is. And uh, I, I yearn to have that. I think relationships are, 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 can, they can be difficult, but they could also be easy if you, if you humbly approach them and look at them as um, the gift that they are. Because humans, we're gifts to each other. So we have to really deal with each other like what, with a lot of love and care. And I, um, I learned that about myself and I think I'm, I'm yearning, I'm yearning to have kids and that's the evolution of life. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, I have a situation I need to, we need to, we need to get some DNA tests. So hopefully, you know, this is what it is because, you know, but it'd be, it wouldn't be cool because I kind of ain't been in their life. So, but definitely need some kids to elevate that. The evolution of life, I think, is, is so, so awesome, so abundant that we, we get to experience so many different levels and joys of love. And uh, so, hell yeah, man, I'm looking for love, man. Bachelor of the King, man. I'm looking for some, you know, but I still want to turn up too, though. I ain't gonna lie, man. I may need one, two, three. I think I may need to just figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? That, like, that shit is accepted now. It's I mean, accepted it's, now. It's always been accepted. No, I mean, like, in, in mainstream, like, you can actually show it. You know, it's been accepted behind closed doors. Now you could actually be out in public holding four bitches' heads. Sorry, four females' heads. 
Like I got said, they know my mouth reckless over here, but we got Raz on, so I can't I can't be too disrespectful because it's his I'm brand crying. too, right? Oh my god, I'm crying. But um, <laughs> so so tell me, they you know I love watching the women say it's pee inside the dating <laughs> in the dating water, right? Dating pool. What they say is pee inside the dating pool. What are you seeing right now, Raz, inside the dating pool? Um, um, you know, I've accomplished so much and I look at life like I'm a weirdo that I would call myself in a way because if I start talking about some of the shit that I'd be on, they'd be like, nigga, you be on that every day? I'd be like, nigga, I walk around in the Matrix, nigga. <laughs> like, what? Do you do you not follow the White Rabbit? You have not followed a Trump watch and Alice in the Wonderland? This shit's all in front of your face, nigga. Everything. So I'd be sitting back tripping. Nah, I'm just, I'm just clowning. I, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, man, I'm, <clears throat> you know, mainly what I see is a lot of sleep, a lot of zombies. So I'm like, damn, that's too much teaching for me to do. Nah, fuck that. Nope, I got to keep it pushing. Nah, mm. that's not, that's not compatible. That's going to, that's going to slow me down. That's not going to push. That's not going to, I need something to slingshot me forward. Chick, I mean, that'll make me feel insecure about her past. What do you think about that, man? You got a girlfriend? I think, yeah, I got a fiance, man. But I'm, I'm, I, I still talk to everybody. You know, females love to talk to me for some damn reason. So I still hear about what's going on outside, right? What is one of the things? All right, a chick right now, she signed up for looking for love. What, what's the show called? What, what is it actually called? Bachelor of Finds Love. Yeah, Bachelor of the King. I mean, I'm, I'm looking for love, but it's also, I, I feel like my show is morphing into something else bigger than just the love show. It's just, it's the, the Bachelor of the King is more, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bachelor, but, you know, the journey of becoming a king, all the stuff that you go through. And when I say king, like king dome, keeping your minds and, you know, your thoughts and the, the captivity, you know what I'm saying, of, of, of what's focused and what you need to focus in on, right? So it's like, it's a lot, homie, you know, for, 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 for a female to rock with me, it's a lot, man. I got my eye on this one chick. Her name is Ramona. You actually just now said her name, too. You a real-ass nigga, Brad. I didn't, I, I didn't I, expect nothing less. I like her. She likes me, too. <laughs> she makes me feel secure when I feel un- insecure. She deep. I told her she should come on the show, but I don't think I really want her on the show. So I'm like, all the girls, that's what makes the show good. Like, all the chicks that I like low-key, like, it's like, oh. Like, we're the ones that I really like. Can I, let me throw you, let me, let me see if you like, okay, you really don't like me. Everybody likes the sweet side of everybody, but some people can't deal with the, uh, the ugly side, too. Demons that, come out. We all got them, like you said. Yeah, scares somebody, that, that scares somebody away. Yo, so what 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 what's the expect? We expecting that from Ray J. I Me mean, uh from you and Ray J. We expecting because the whole network is you and Ray J, right? Yeah, I mean, I ain't really even talked about the network. The network is so fucking lit. I'ma just I don't really even want to talk about the network. I think everybody just pay attention and watch. Like the shit is just fucking lit. But let me tell you like this. There we 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 took care of everybody. And what, what that means is, you know, me and Ray really took care of everybody. Like ownership and equity and the right budgets and the right like it's so and I, and me i get a chance to learn from my brother um in a different space because he's conquered um he's, he's the king of this this reality shit and he's really mastered it and i just i'm just so grateful to have the opportunity to collab with him on this on this uh on this project um pre-tronics network because i you know i know that's something that we, we've talked about building and i and i look forward to helping them build that as well but in the meantime we're we're building dosh and we're learning and we're working out the kinks and it, it's just phenomenal we had a our first cast another day and it's just cool as a new company to kind of bump your head and figure stuff out and you know because we also have a lot of people that um that are new in their roles and i feel like you're going to find some of the greatest talent some of the greatest leaders if you actually let them fucking bump their head i think it's cool mm-hmm. but of course we got the pros and we got the we got the executives around to really, you know, make sure that, you know, shit really get done. But I'm 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 seeing that we're a young, youthful company and uh, you know, uh it's it's exciting. It's it's exciting. Um I'm, I'm I'm happy, but I, I there's an evolution beyond Dosh already. Dosh Plus, Tronics Network, Raz Vin, 
I mean, it just, it, it, it doesn't stop. You know what I mean? So, uh, but everybody make sure y'all tune in. I mean, we, 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 we want to pride ourselves because there's so many networks and so much talent out there that doesn't get an opportunity. So where all other talent go? So what we want to do is create an opportunity for, for people to be able to collab with us. Mm. So we got we got writers over here, so I'm gonna hit you up personally. I need to get some. I need to get our writers on there, man. We got Keisha Star over here. We look. We gonna talk about that off air, right? Let's shoot. Finished product. I mean, finished product is always easier to go other than us producing some originals. Has our slate is full, but essentially having full package projects that's ready to go it's easier for us to slide it in our marketing machine and start rolling that shit out because the eyeballs that we have on the dash network is just going to continue to evolve i mean this time you know in a year i mean we should be somewhere you know really really far just to go got you so right now brad's focus is the dash network and the other eighty-nine thousand fucking thoughts going through his head <laughs> i love that shit no, I read that shit. That shit crazy, man. It's it's it's, it's wild. Man, listen, brother, we appreciate you, man. Please tell people how they could contact you. Please tell people, um, just how they can get in touch with Raz B and still keep up with him, support you, follow you. Uh, you got the Dodge Network that you got the site going on, man. You talked about that shit. Um, tell them tell them all of your plugs so that they can get out there and reach Raz B. Yeah, no, I think a really cool one I want people to check out is U42, it's Y-O, uh, Y-O-U, the number four, the number two, dot com. Um, this company is really cool. I haven't talked about it much in a while, but it's a, it's a digital platform where you can own 100% of your content. You get to monetize on 100% of it, right? So if I sell something for a dollar, sell it for a dollar. If I upload it, I still own it. I'm not licensed. It's not being licensed to a third party where my content or all my stuff on my Instagrams are popping up on YouTube and people can monetize off of, off of my stuff, right? Um, read your contracts, people. So um, it's on the Ethereum blockchain network. So you can check me out over there. I, I'm about to start uploading some more cool footage over there, um, primarily the Dosh Network. Um, that's the Dosh Network, D O S H network.com and for all the talent out there that's looking i mean we want to create a platform we partner up with a company called who's next casting to give people an opportunity so who's with an s who's next casting all spelled out.com that's that's the place where where opportunities are, are, are being given there um and most importantly like for the people that's really in the business they know how to find me uh and, and then you know i i, I typically like to use my instagram for some reason even though it's really fucking messy I, my team goes through my Instagram and they filter and bet out the business. So, I mean, um, pretty simple, man. That's, that's me, man. If you, if you, if you want me, I'm easy to find. Real talk, man. Hey, everybody watching, y'all already know how to support us, how to show us love, how to follow us. We on all platforms. That's your YouTube, Spotify, Apple, Google, everything is car space up. We got two pages on YouTube. Make sure you follow them also. Our TikTok supporters, we thank y'all. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing on TikTok, but y'all love me for some reason. I thank you for that shit. Um, hey, big thing. We had motherfucking Raz B on this bitch for the new year, right? Because now I'm going to cuss and talk my shit, right? I ain't going to fuck his brain up, but I'm going to talk my shit, my ignorant shit, right? We had motherfucking Raz B from two, B2 fucking K on here, nigga. You realize what this means? This is big, man. We doing it fucking to the next level of 2023, right? And we're going to be able to keep connecting, keep showing love. All I need y'all to do is keep supporting me, keep supporting Raz B and whatever the fuck he put his hands on, everything, man. Salute, happy new year to everybody. Raz, we appreciate you, my brother. I thank you. I hope you enjoyed your time with us, man. Oh, man, this is, this is like I said, this is very therapeutic for me. You fucked me up with your questions. I was like, God damn, that's a good one. You know, you can give a shallow, fucked up answer, right? But... Nah, man. This is this is dope. It was amazing to make people feel comfortable, right? So I thank you for making me feel comfortable. I thank you for doing your due diligence and and and, and, and um having an intelligent intelligent intellectual conversation. And I was happy that I was able to be able to drop some gems and receive some gems myself. So I mean, I I can't thank people enough. I'm starting to get that that music itch though again though. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I, I literally want to come out and and, and 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 fuck some shit up. So I was like. Gym, vocal training, music, money, tour. I was like, that's a lot of work. 
So I don't know, you know what I mean? Especially when you've done it on, on the level that V2K has done. So like for me, it's just like, you know, maybe maybe that's the thing of the past. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what's in store. Whatever you do, we're going to support it. So when you just said that, nigga, I got happy, right? I got happy, right? long as I don't come home and my lady got your fucking picture in the bedroom wall, we are good, right? I, I, yeah. I accepted that shit when I was younger. That nigga said, no, not, not, not as a, <laughs> I fucked that shit. He said, I, no, you had to accept it, nigga. Yeah, we did. <laughs> you ain't <laughs> never fucking <laughs> lie. <laughs> no, that, I gotta go do a podcast. I, go, I'm about, I think I'm gonna do the B2K podcast and only talk about B2K stories because that, 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 that needs to be therapeutic for me, man. Only B2K man, stories. Man, whatever if I you do it, I want, I want you to invite me on, man. I'm coming on, man. The guy, I'm gonna have to beg the guys to come on because these niggas, bro, these niggas, boy, they what? Oh my god, I'm like, who got to y'all? Y'all don't talk about nothing, dude. Uh, I'm a, I, all right, I, before before we leave, then fuck that, right? Tell me, answer. let's let's. Oh, shit, like, what's going on? Hold up, let me see you. Let me see you impersonate this, right? I'm a, I'm gonna be Raz B. We gonna go through the through the uh, through at least bug, and we gonna go at least through fizz. The text like this, yo, bro. This Raz, what's up with a B2K reunion? What <laughs> what is Bug saying? Nah, I mean you know, you know we always this voice like this because it's like I think it's like it's like our it's like our Ricky. <laughs> it's like our Ricky Flash. A Mariana voice. <laughs> <laughs> it would go like this. But hey, look, guys. So listen, like, um, you know, I got the, you know, the B2K tour. You know, if y'all want to, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, bugs like, you know, you know. You know, I'm, I'm on my boss shit left. You know, I'm on my mobile shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really trying to be dancing, you know, you know, and, and you know, it's, it's really important, you know, you know, uh, for the things that I'm doing now, you know, I, I need to like focus on that. You know what I'm saying? Fizz like, man, I'm, you know, you know, I'm, you know, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm not inquiring or entertaining any conversations, you know, if it's not with the four, or four, four of the guys. So it's just like, it's just, it's, it's like it's it's like hell no. And even if <laughs> even if we were to try some of the three, we the three of us, it's still like a hell no because I think my ass is just crazy. Like so when I'm around them niggas, I'm just crazy. Like something else around me. So I was like, I told myself I can't drink around these niggas because I it's just so, it's just so much energy when I'm around them. And I love them so much. I just, uh, you know, I was like, because it was like, Raz, for the two times we've been around each other and thinking, it's like, I don't know, do we know if we want to do something or not? Because we just was just communicating and talking. But I was, I dragged them out. You know, we were celebrating 20 years last year. And I was just like, yo, we got to do something. Like, please, nigga. Like, can please? Can, you, can we go to a party? Can, <laughs> can we do something, nigga? Just hang together. Uh, yeah, nah, but yeah, nah. Yeah, I'm about to text some fools right now. I'm like, hey, nigga, what's up, nigga? Nigga, this nigga, nigga, that's me, nigga. Nigga, nigga, Marion, nigga, what's up, nigga? Hey, yo, did you ever text Omarion, yo, and just out the blue? And be like, yo, what's up, bro? Um, yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. That nigga don't never respond? Uh, when I knew he was acting like somebody else, I, that's when I stopped calling him. I was like, oh, this nigga, okay. <laughs> but no, I love, oh, I love Orion. I, I got a lot of love for them, man. They've always supported me. I really love them, all bullshit aside. You know, we have our little differences of what we may think or opinions, but I love my I, I love my brothers, period. You know what I'm saying? I pray I pray the day that we all can get together and talk again. Because if, if I seen them, all right, we would probably, we don't hate each other. Like, we're not about to fight. We're going to sit, we're going to talk. We actually, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, we probably just going to laugh. I, I I don't believe oh I don't believe oh unbothered uh personality. I love what it means that, to the world. He, he bothered all right. He just got a wish. That nigga bothered the motherfucker. Trust he me. Bothered as a motherfucker. <laughs> said the thing about the verses of us picking on him, like bro, like he was irritated within the lies of the verses because he knew people was clowning him, calling him old melon. And you know, with June, with June third, what is it called? Juneteenth around and the watermelon. Juneteenth. There was some politics behind that. So that, you know, a lot of that stuff, like, 
it, it just didn't line up for him. Mm-mm-mm. So yeah, he was Bob. Then and then uh, we can't crack a joke. We can of anybody that can make light out of it is us. You got serves, and ain't nobody no backup answers. He definitely called y'all niggas back up there. <laughs> hey, what did you say when you saw that shit? I mean, I think the shit. I think the shit is. I think the shit is funny. Like, if you really like, because we're sitting like that's funny. Like backup dancer. And you should be happy. I'll be singing, nigga. The hooks, nigga, live, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I got somebody got my back, nigga. Nigga, I'm one of the singers of the group. What the fuck you mean, nigga? Don't cut my mic off, hater. Oh man, see, hey, Raz, you don't want me to fucking. You you don't want me to stop. You know, I know er- everything you say. I got a story about it. So. Let's talk about you throwing the fucking mic. What what the fuck happened on stage? I threw a mic. Yeah, you threw the fucking mic. I forgot where you was at Nashville or some shit. I think your mic wasn't working. Your headphones I don't, wasn't. I don't know. Nah, the, 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 the truth is out there. Somebody actually documented the truth. I don't what think is the th- truth. I think my Man, mic. I saw the fucking video. It is the truth. Nah, nah. Mike, no, nah, for real, no, for real. I was having technical difficulties with my shit. Then I got frustrated and I pulled it off. Think, I think, yeah, I was, I was mad. Then I think another time my mic was off, and then I walked over the. Oh, I never walked off the stage. I walked off when I, it was time to go. You know, it was, it was doing my time, so I, you know, I kept it professional. You know what I mean? But I never walked off stage. But when it was my time to walk off stage, it was crazy because someone that I had invited to the show was holding the camera up on the side of the sh- of, the, of the stage recording. For me, it's kind of like the Bad Bunny moment. Like, you're supposed to be my people, and at this moment, like, I'm, I'm going through some shit. The motherfucking camera on my face. So, yeah, I was, bro, I was lit. Bro, I was lit on that tour, bro. That Bad Bunny shit was phony, man. I ain't like that shit. And I don't even, I don't even know who the fuck Bad Bunny is, and I, I, I might be... Uh, laughed at for this shit. Maybe I'm not in the mix like I want to be or think I am. That ain't how you treat people. It's rude, but how would you feel like he 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 he, he, he he's a, he, he's he's okay to 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 he's okay to get that out. The reason why I say that is because some people like, I remember this one. Like, Can I take a picture of you? She, like she just put her phone in my face. It's weird. It's disrespectful. He probably just what? snapped. Would it would it happen if that was a a a a, a nigga from Tiff and Chris, y'all? I mean, Bad Bunny's larger than life, so who knows what the fuck's going on in his head? <laughs> a lot of people, you, it could be you walking down the street, like you you don't know, like I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, walk down the look, put your phone in somebody's face, and you'll probably see you gonna see how to feel. It's weird, it's weird. Um, but I think he could have handled that a little bit differently. But maybe he just wasn't in the mode at that moment. And that's a lot. So maybe he cracked. I don't know. That's a, that's a lot. Like, people do that. Like, it, it's a lot. Like, I be want to take their phone and break their fucking shit. I want to, I be loving to break people's shit. But what is that yeah, going to do? Like, like you were shit. trained different. You were trained different. Y'all went through development for artists. You know, artist development and things of sort. You understand the shit. And it, it's certain things that you just don't do. You know, you when mean? you step inside this world, you are... You are a part. People want to, of course, niggas want to be able to go to the bathroom and piss in public, take their kids out, all types of shit like that. But you signed up for this shit, right? And once you sign up for it, you know it for safe. Come on, what's your craziest uh, 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 fucking, um, what, what are they called? What's the people that fucking um, fan story? What's your craziest fan story? You never stop, actually. <sighs> A lot of my, I really don't remember, but bro, it was, I would hear about girls like sleeping outside for days just to like wait for us to come outside. And I thought, I mean, th- I mean, the dedication, um, people, sne- you know, people sneaking in our rooms, and are we coming to the venue and they're in, in our, in our, in, in hide in the showers and shit, or, you know, they, the motherfuckers like, in our hallways, knocking at our doors, finding what rooms we li- like that. I mean, it, 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 it was pretty, uh, I'm glad shit calmed down now. But I don't, know if I, take, of- I don't know if I could take that shit at this age. I don't, I'm, I'm, <laughs> well, Brad, 
think about it from a level of just, 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 just simple level, right? You have a person right now. It's a girl that's probably about fucking our age, 37, 38, 40 years old. And you know what? <laughs> she works a nine to five every day. She raised her kids. She's raising her kids. She might got a little husband. She's happy in life. But guess what one of her biggest fucking moments is? That time she grabbed Raz B while he was on stage. And guess what he did? He might have kissed her hand or some shit. That's still her biggest moment at 40. So when you got a person on a level of uh, Bad Bunny and shit like that, and again, I don't know who he is, so I might watch that shit later to figure out exactly what the situation is. But I saw that clip. When you got a person on that level, you have to understand, yo, you got two choices at this point. You could make this girl life, not day. You could make her fucking life. Again, it's a girl that grabbed Raz B hand at 16 years old at one of them fucking screen tours, and she's still talking about that shit to this day. She got a nine to five, a fucking um, Honda Civic. <laughs> she, is, she is living her life happily. But guess what? One of her greatest moments in life is when Raz B looked at her and kissed her hand. I think that's crazy, but I, I'm also a vic- I'm also uh, 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 I'm also convicted of, of of failing because because we pour out so much, we have our days when we're not on point because it's so much. And I, you know, Bad Buddy, I don't think he would made it this far in his career, not showing love to his people. That we they they got him on a bad day. Now this consistent behavior is going to start to turn people away, right? So it's like I've been around people and and people I'm in a bad mood. But if you see I'm in a bad mood, why are you gonna ask me for a fucking picture? Cause nigga, I ain't gonna see you tomorrow. I I but I get that too. So but guess what? <laughs> guess what? <laughs> Can you give me a fucking rain check, Raz? But in that moment, I'm I'm taking care of me right now. Nobody cares, Raz. I, and it's safe. I, I, because I, this I, is that, but guess what? It's a love or hate thing anyway, because guess what? If you do it, they happy. If you don't do it, it's fuck you. But it was that meant it was fuck you already if I didn't do what you wanted me to do. Right. So like, these people are entitled. People think just because they they like you don't have to buy my shit or play my shit. Like I I did my part. The fact that I went to the studio, I made the video. I don't, I don't like nigga, I don't even want to come outside because I'm scared of people. Like it's it's deep. Everybody's psyche is different. So I, I you know, I, I, I get all of that. That's why I, I do agree. It. I go out of my way all the time to, to reveal that golly good love, not just because I don't need your support, but I just, I, I want to be able to make your moment. I don't want to ruin your moment, but what happens when I'm fucked up and I'm out on point? That's when you call Ty Hill and we fucking talk through this shit, nigga. Like you going to, and, and, and again, but I'm going to tell you, right. I'm going to tell you some real shit because all of us, again, you're 37 now, right? Yep. All right. I'm 38. Right. And we might regret all this shit in five years. <laughs> like, what the fuck we tell our age? I still want to be in my thirties, right? But anyway, all right. So we we reality is this, nigga. You watched that motherfucking Jackson Five American Dream the same time I watched that shit when it was a two day fucking series on TV. And that nigga Michael Jackson did not want to get on that jet that plane. He told Joe, "I'm tired of this shit." No, I don't want to get on the plane, Joe. Fuck this. Michael was basically fuck this star shit. I can't fucking breathe. Niggas grabbing me, jumping on cars. Jackie was like, we like the Beatles. Them niggas was happy, right? But Michael ain't like none of that shit. Nigga, you as Raz B, fucking lover boy at that time, you stood up and said, I want to be a star. Nigga, you signed up for this. Michael told you what the fuck it was like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Much, that's what they say. Much is given, much is required. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to agree with that. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I mean, I'm not taking up for cuz. I'm just like, I mean, Eminem. Like some of these people, they just. They, I think nowadays there's a lot more people that are like the videos going around with Steve Harvey. No, I don't want to disturb him while he's eating. Like there's a little bit. Like I think like supporters have a little bit more integrity now because back in the day it seemed like motherfuckers just crazy. Some people are still just wild because remember you're dealing with a bunch of different human beings and more people it, it appears that have access to you. Mm-hmm. So that's, I don't know. That's a good one. What, what what are people saying on the, like what is the backlash if any? That's and that's how I got word of it. You know, people are saying it's it's fucked up. It, it, it's fucked up because. Yo, uh, it's a nigga right now, man. And you, again, age thing, right? And how old is the guy? Is, is he a younger guy? They like early 20s or some shit? He a younger probably, guy? Probably so. All right, so I don't expect too much from early 20s. I was reckless at early 20s, right? It was fucking probably with spit in a chick's face. I didn't fucking. 
But, I mean, could level. You know, like, it, it was a different world, but again, I didn't have millions. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't on that level, man. You get given these blessings, and maybe that's out of touch with our faith or whatever it is. You know, you get given certain blessings, and you get inside that world where you, you're, you're able to reach and touch everything. You got to understand that it's a motherfucker that stood in line. Oh, shit, there's no lines no more, but you know what I mean. You know, a motherfucker mm-hmm. that spent their last four ninety nine for that Apple. I'm sorry, I, Apple. I'm sorry, motherfuckers. Yes, I got the college student discount shit. I buy shit four ninety nine, nigga. But anyway, it's a motherfucker that spent that shit that last couple dollars on to be able to access your music. So we got to think of it like that. And again, we talking just you know we just shooting the shit as brothers because I know. I, I know that you, you, you're one of those accessible people. You're one of those people that show love. Either I've never seen you even in a bad mood. You still show love. So, you know, but these are the things where Raz is going to be, in my opinion, where you become that, 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 that king shit that you're talking about. When you go and start that, that new 2K, you know, that, that's where you're going to fucking do because these kids ain't got artist development. These niggas straight off the block. I ain't talking about bad money or none of those niggas, but these niggas are straight off the block with no understanding of how to separate. Hey, you signed up for this. You can easily unsign. Easily unsign. Get on a fucking camera and say, fuck my fans, fuck the music, I'm done. You can unsign from this shit. <laughs> Wait, write that shit down. He said, what you say? Fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck the music, fuck my fans, I'm done. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm a fucking old. It's over. I mean, like, it's a fuck. Like, you ain't got to do no that's your goodbye speech. So once you accept this shit, man, this shit is for life, man. This, this is for life. This is, I told you it's a chick that got to touch Raz's hand at 16 years old. And she's Bro. still fucking living off that. It's the Al Bundy fucking dream. You know that nigga used to say, talk about Pope. I understand that nigga every day. I get old, I understand Al Bundy more, yo. <laughs> like, yo I need to, oh, I need to go watch Al. I used to watch it when I was a kid, like for real, for real. I liked it and didn't know why I liked it. Maybe it was the chick. But watch it as an adult. I'm going to watch it as an adult. Because, no, bro, I didn't understand why my young ass was watching that show. But truth be, truth be told, there's a person that, that security in my building, and I'm a little overwhelmed. She's like, yo, you're my favorite one, and I don't think you understand. I was like, that's deep. She's like, I want, you know, I want to take a picture with you. And like, and like, I think it's so cool how we can inspire people. And, you know, it sucks when um, we we can't be a thousand percent active. But if he was, if a bad bunny was a robot, you know what I'm saying? It would be, all this, all this did was just set up for him to, to do something even greater. Maybe for mm-hmm. that girl. Maybe, I mean, maybe. I don't know. I, I I think deep. Maybe she was a super fan. You know, now she's viral probably. Maybe she's going to sue him. Maybe she don't get a check. I, I got to look into the story. But we're human. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Will Smith, he's slapping. You know, I mean, shit, do we hate Will Smith because he fucking smacks somebody else? I couldn't wait for Will Smith. I, we just now watched a movie with, with uh, what's the Emancipation. I, I, just watched, I couldn't wait to support asleep. that movie. You fell asleep. Oh I man, I I fucking loved it, man. Because and I don't do I don't do no fucking slavery movies. I never saw Ruth. I never saw none of those uh, uh fucking Glory. I well Glory was war, but um, what's the one with Whoopi Goldberg? Color Purple. Color, I never saw purple. that. I never saw none of those shit because I hate slavery movies. All right, nigga, I know my history. I I I done looked up a lot of shit. I used to study black history. I don't want to see the shit. This shit was literally a movie about a brother bucking at the system. And I watched my niggas buck at the system my whole life. Like, you know, I watch I watch my my homies and shit, my OGs buck at the system. And that's what he was doing as a slave. My only my body is a slave. I'm I I got niggas that call me every day from the jail. And I ain't locked up now. I'm out here. You know that this is what life is. So I love to see them actually show that shit. And I ain't talking about the Django. I like Django movie. That was funny, right? But I'm talking about somebody that really bucked at the system on, man, we going to get through this. I'm going through it all for my family. That love of your family. I saw I fell asleep. I saw I fell asleep right here. Oh, right when he was in the woods. I, sorry, we'll pick it back up. Yo, watch that. And I, Don't I, I you say, bro, you, go ahead. I couldn't wait 
to support Will. And again, even with Bad Bunny, right? <clears throat> I can't wait to go find out exactly what he does and support it, not because just off of because I want to. It's more of the, I understand the human part of it, but we can't expect the world to understand that shit because that's not realistic. You know, Will Smith smacking a nigga. Chris Rock deserved to fucking get smacked. Rock, I'm sorry, nigga Pookie. I am fucking sorry. I love you, nigga. But you deserve to fucking get smacked. You put my lady name in your mouth and she give me the look, nigga, I might have to smack you. You should understand this shit. She gave me the look, Bro. nigga, that's the cue. <laughs> nigga, Let Raz, fuck around. Hey, Raz. Bro. One of my niggas hey, give me the look hey, I might got smack hey, a nigga. That's the, hey, that's the, realest, that's the realest excuse ever. When your chick look at you like that, like you gotta like, you see South Paul, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. She would still be alive if he had listened to her. But you can't a fiery husband? What? Then you chumped him in front of his chick? Oh nigga. That was a I don't mind. That was a good one right there. Yeah, man. I mean, it is what it is. You know, people are human, but Hey man, you gotta live and learn. Artist development will be definitely be a, a good cue. Um, like I said, there's times that I, I've 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 failed uh, to do my part. You know what I mean? And uh, you know I, I, I'm forever sad because I'm like I killed somebody's moment. Mm. Mm. So, but that's what makes you great. See, it, it, it's never what we do that make us great. It's what we learned from what we've done that makes us fucking great. That moment right there made you great, nigga, because you realize what you want to do to make you better. It ain't about what I think should make Raz better. It ain't about right. what old think or any other motherfucker in this world. It's about what Raz saw about his life that said, yo, I could fix this area. I looked at my, my lady the other day and I said, yo, I want to be a better fucking father. She's like, you're already a great father. I, well, it's not for you to judge me. It's for me to judge myself. And I said, I want to be a better fucking father. My kids think I'm great. I want to be a better father. You know, it's what we see and what we do like that. where we say, I could pick this shit up and I could make this shit even dope. So that's what makes you a legend, man. That's why we started this fucking conversation. That's why I've been fucking chasing you down. Like, bro, bro, I need you on the show because you're a legend. It's, it, 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 it's, it's not about when I was listening to Bump, Bump, Bump. It's not about when I was trying to bump, bump, bump a chick. It's not none of that shit, right? That's just what keeps you a memory in my head. It's about the triumph shit that I seen you do after. Those conversations, those real lives, those, those shit is what make me like, damn, this nigga grew. Because we grew together. Like, that's why I said you family from the jump. I grew up with you. That's I great. I just couldn't call you because you wouldn't give me your fucking number, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, hey, listen. We in a, we in a different world now. I love it though, but now, nah, but we we've ever connected now, bro. So, nah, it's it's been a motherfucking pleasure, bro. Um, and blessings. Bro.